This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied to the ring by Leva Bates from Carson City, Nevada, weighing 182 pounds, the librarian, Peter Avalon. Peter Avalon, not getting any respect from Justin Roberts there who was shushing him, but yes. uh, Justin still plowed through and did his ring intro. Well, yes, Justin does a case of professional. He's a professional. He goes straight forge ahead. And his opponent, from Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing 192 pounds, Brandon Cutler. What's with the, uh, I know Excalibur, I'm sure you know all about it, or Vader knows. What's with the gimmick mask? What is this mask? What is this supposed to be? Uh, help spot me up. Uh, it's a dragon mask, Taz. It's a dragon mask, Taz. Oh, wow. That, that, for somebody that must be an echo in here. For somebody that doesn't visit the pay window. Has never visited the pay window. <laughs> right. Brandon Cutler's gear gets more elaborate week after week. It does. I love his gear. I just don't know the backstory of it. No, it's, it's, cool. it's, it's, it looks really cool. But right now, he and Avalon, who were. Oh! oh. They used to be buddies. They used to be partners. Teaming up as the initiative now, going at it. Hammer and tongs here. Well, right now, Peter Avalon, who has actually the worst record in AEW, 0 26, where Cutler is second to worst with 0 25. Well, one of these Just two men. Just put them over. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, over, one, yeah. one of these two men will end their losing streak here tonight. This is a, a huge opportunity. It's a great point. We're gonna, it's going to be wit. It's going to be history here made tonight. That's a great point. Taz, as one of the more fiscally minded members of the yeah. oh, beautiful butterfly suplex there by Avalon, who covers one. Oh. Talking about my fiscal abilities? Uh, so, so Avalon and Cutler teamed up. They gave themselves a tag team name as the initiative. Right. They got shirts up on Shop AEW, and right. then two weeks later, they broke up. Well, that's a royalty issue right there. So right there. Cover there. I have a funny feeling maybe they were not selling a plethora of shirts. I don't know. I'm just saying with the records they've had. So what are you tr trying to figure if there's a vig involved with each other, how, how, that, that type of thing, what's going on with it? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, I'm just you saying. You got a lawyer sitting to you, they're, right? Maybe but, she knows. However, now they're collector's items. Oh, oh, oh. that's a good point. That's, that's Looking excellent. on the bright side, I don't think there's a lot of bright side for either of these two, though, in the past couple weeks. As you said, they were on a losing streak as a tag team. Lima Bates accompanied Peter Avalon out to the ring, but she's... She's very cautious in her support. Oh, oh. Chope suicida by Cutler, driving Avalon the back of his head into those steel ring barricades. And she, there she, she's pleading with Brandon Cutler. She just, she seems torn is, is honestly the best way to put it. She just seems conflicted. She's checking on Peter here. I don't think Leva gives a rat's ass about Cutler. I disagree with you, Veda Scott. Oh, wow, great move there by oh. Avalon. I really think there's a romantic thing going on with both librarians. I don't care what anybody says. But right here, she's checking on Brandon Cutler here. And oh, oh, oh that that's was not, not that's, necessary. That was not nice at all. That was rough. But that just goes to show the bad blood between these two men is Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, looking on as their best friend, Brandon Cutler. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Going to war with Avalon. And really, the dissension in the initiative, it didn't stem to me so much from the losing. I'm sure that was a factor, but the oh, fact the that... Blood, Avalon. Oh, Tope there by Avalon after the momentary distraction. But from Leva Bates. An unintentional distraction, I think. It's just, I, I can't figure this out, these dynamics here, because I don't think the dissension in the initiative was necessarily because of losing. Oh. I think it was because Peter Avalon was willing to do whatever was necessary, and that is just not Brandon Cutler's game. Swing and a miss there. Avalon, hook of the near leg. No. You sound like such a lawyer. I My head is spinning right now from that. 25-minute soundbite you just had, Vader Scott. I'm trying to figure this all out. There's so many just personal dynamics here. Okay. I mentioned the Young Bucks standing by at ringside. They would love to see Brandon Cutler pick up his first victory in all elite wrestling. If you want to learn more about the relationship between Brandon Cutler and the Young Bucks, check out the Bucks book coming out this fall. From the backyard to the big leaves, leads the Young Bucks book. They put me over in the book, they mention me? Um, no, but I'm still looking for them to mention me, so. Ooh, wow, you know them well. Anyway, look, see, I told you there's some tension with these two. Youngbucksbook.com, you can pre order it right now. Oh, Peter Avalon has Talking about books, yeah. Book. He's got the Webster's extra size, super size dictionary or something. That was I believe that was Stephen King's The Stand. Oh, oh, The Stand. And wow. now Cutler, though. And she wouldn't let oh, him do it. Oh, driving reverse DDT. That's it. No! Oh, Cutler almost went one and twenty-five. He just missed. God. 
almost like a version of the, the Emerald Frosian. Mm. Mitsuharu Masawa's finishing move. Yeah, let's take Check a look at it. Out. Right on the back of the head, neck area. That is nasty. And Cutler with Avalon up on the shoulders. The Argentine backbreaker position. But du now, ooh, double arm hooks here. Oh! oh! Sits down with the Tiger Driver. One, two, no! Again, so close. Tough move to kick out of that Tiger Driver because you. When you stack the pin, everything's so tightly packaged, but Cutler able to get out. And Avalon did a good job putting the boots over the shoulders of Cutler, despite Cutler being a little lankier. Oh, the martinis! Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Well done. No cover, though. Instead, split leg. Oh! He goes for the split leg. Moonsault, cover, two, no! Oh. Man. Man, these guys are just... Like you said at the top of this thing, X Cowboy, an opportunity to, you know, not be winless. Really change around your entire AEW career. Get some momentum, possibly. And now Avalon charging into the corner, double boots up by Cutler. Cutler escapes between the top and middle rope. Oh, he's rangy. Cutler springboard. Here we go. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful elbow drop. Cover one, two. Got him. Oh. He was trying to cradle the head, but Avalon was smart, keeping the back of his head on the canvas. Veda, in your estimation, what does Cutler have to do to put away Peter Avalon? I don't want to say this, but he might need to stoop down to Peter Avalon's strategies as of late. I don't know, like Brandon Cutler's downfall has been he refuses to play dirty. Mm. Yeah, you gotta play dirty sometimes. I mean, once in a while you do. Taz, and you wouldn't I, know anything about no, that. No, that's not my style, you know. And Avalon and Cutler up on the top rope. Cutler looking to bring Avalon back in the hard way, but Avalon senses the danger. And Leva Bates on the outside just begging them to just come down. Yeah, she's trying to play peacemaker in this, uh, yeah, I this rivalry. Correct. Yeah, you know, it, it, you said that earlier, yeah, and you were correct. I was wrong. See, I'm, I'm man enough to admit that. She looks very concerned, Veda. You can see that. She two men are. She just, I think she just didn't want this match to happen. She just didn't want this team to break up at all. It, it felt like they were right on the cusp of securing their first victory as a, as a tag team in the initiative, and both men spilling to the floor. Yeah, both, both athletes definitely landed hard on the outside. Referee's counting here. Leva, oh, you gotta be careful, you don't get counted out, but one of these guys here can count it out. Leva Bates pacing between Cutler and Avalon. Cutler up to his feet. And now Avalon, Ooh. oh, continuing the fight on the outside. Referee Paul Turner up to a count of seven. Oh no, he a Avalon. Oh, oh, he's got Cutler's got it. No. He never he never broke the plane of the bottom rope. Oh, oh that's oh. it! Are you kidding me? A double count out. Ladies and gentlemen, what? both men have been counted out. But that... <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. This, this is for the first time ever we've had a double, double count, count, count out at AEW. They're both appalled. They can't believe what just happened. Both men looking for their first victory, but both men cost each other the opportunity. Both men still don't have a victory. And leave it, leave it just trying to end this. and. Avalon Cut. walking off without Leva Bates by his side. But but Cutler just walked off too. Oh. And uh, Vanda, go give her a hug. Well, Leva Bates left alone in the ring. Get a books for her. She'll hug a book later on.